He waters the mountains from his upper chambers. The earth is filled with the fruit of your work. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and herbs for the service of man, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine that makes glad the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the field are full of sap, even the cedars of Lebanon, which he has planted. There the birds make their nest, the abode of the stork is foremost among them. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the high rocks. He appointed the moon for the seasons, and the sun knows its time for setting. You make darkness, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do move. The young lions roar after their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun arises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how magnified are your works and wisdom you have made them all. The earth is filled with your creation. Behold the sea, great and wide, in which are being things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships and that Leviathan, which you fashioned to play therein. These all look to you that you may give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. May my words be pleasing to him. I will be glad in the Lord. May sinners be consumed out of the earth and the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord of my soul. The sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night. O Lord, how magnified are your works and wisdom. You have made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord.
your holy name, for you are great and do others. You only are God, and there is no other like you, all for mercy and good and strength, for the health and comfort and saving of all those who hope in your holy name. For you, for to you I do all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside their crooked ways, the Lord will. 
back those who returned to Zion. We were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water forces in the Negev. May those who sow in tears reap with, with shouts of joy. He who goes forth weeping, bearing the seeds for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, bringing the, his sheaves with him. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who labor, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil. So he gives to his beloved sleep. Lo, sons are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the sons of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks to his enemies in the gate. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be happy and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Lo, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children peace be upon Israel. Sorely, sorely have they afflicted me from my youth, let Israel now say, Sorely have they afflicted me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. The flowers plowed upon my back, they made long their furrows. The Lord is righteous, he has cut the cords of the wicked. May all who hate Zion put the shame and turn backward. Let them be like the grass on the housetops, which withers before it grows up, with which the reaper does not fill his hand, or the binder of sheaves his bosom. While those who pass by do not say, The blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the
I direct my prayer against their desires, their judges have been swallowed up by the rock. They hear my words, for they are sweet. As a lump of earth is shattered on the ground, so shall their bones be scattered before the mouth of hell. O Lord, O Lord, my eyes are upon you, and you are my hope. Do not reject my soul. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me, and from the traps of the evil doers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by in safety. I called to the Lord with my voice, with my voice to the Lord I made my supplication. I pour out my prayer before him, I declare before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then they knew my path. In the path where I walked, they secretly laid a snare for me. I looked to the right and watched, but there was none who knew me. I have no refuge, no one cares for my soul. I cried out to you, O Lord, and said, You are my hope and my portion in the land of the living. I tend to my prayer, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from the persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may pray for them.
worthy of my soul is in the Lord. How shall I, the unworthy one, appear in the splendor of thy saints? For if I dare enter thy bridal chamber with them, my garments will betray thee. They are unfit for a wedding. The angels will cast me out in chains. Cleanse the filth of my soul, O Lord, and save me in thy love for mankind. From the morning watch until the night watch, from the morning watch till Israel hope in the Lord. O Christ, the bridegroom, my soul has slumbered in laziness. I have no lamp aflame with virtues. Like the foolish virgins, I wander aimlessly when it is time for work. But do not close thy compassionate heart to me, O Master. Shake off my heavy sleep. Lead me with the wise virgins into the bridal chamber, that I may hear the pure voice of those that feast and cry unceasingly. O Lord, glory to thee. And with the Lord there is mercy and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. You have heard the condemnation of the whole of the man who hid his talent. Do not hide the word of God, proclaim his wonders, that increasing the gift of grace, you may enter into the joy of your Lord. Praise the Lord, all nations, praise the Lord, peoples. Come, O faithful, let us work zealously for the Master, for he distributes wealth to his servants. Let each of us, according to his ability, increase his talents of grace. Let one be adorned in wisdom through good works. Let another celebrate his service and splendor. <coughs> the one distributes his wealth to the poor, and the other communicates the word to those untaught. Thus we shall embrace what has been entrusted to us, and as faithful stewards of grace, we will be accounted worthy of the Master's joy. Make us worthy of this, O Christ our God, and thy love for mankind. For his mercy is confirmed in us, and the truth of the Lord abides forever. When thou shalt come in glory, O Jesus, with the angelic host, and shalt sit upon the throne for judgment, do not drive me away, O good shepherd, for thou knowest the paths on thy right hand, but those on thy left hand lead astray. Do not destroy me with the goats, though I am coarse with sin. But number me with the sheep of thy right hand, and save me in thy love for mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, more beautiful than all men, O bride and groom, thou hast invited us to the spiritual banquet of thy bridal chamber. Strip me of the ugly garment of my sins, as I participate in thy food.
drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage until the day when Noah entered the ark. And they did not know until the flood came and swept them all away. So will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two men will be in the field. One is taken, one is left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One is taken and one is left. Watch therefore, for you do not know at what hour the Lord is coming. But know this, that if the householder had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have watched and would have not left his house, be broken into. Therefore you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming in an hour you do not expect. Who then is faithful? Who then is the wise and faithful servant, whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Truly, I say to you, he will not set him over all his possessions. He will set him over all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says in his heart, my master is delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eats and drinks with the drunken, the master of that servant will come on that day when he does not expect him, in an hour that he does not know, and will punish him, and will put him with the hypocrites. For men, where men, there were men, will weep and gnash their teeth. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be compared to ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were wise and five were foolish. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flasks of oil with oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. For your lamps are going out. But the wise replied, Perhaps there will not be enough for us and for you. Go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who already went in with him to the bridegroom, to the, to the wedding, to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you do not know the day nor the hour when the Son of Man will come. For it will be as one a man going out on a journey called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them, and he made five talents more. So also he who had two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now, after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here I have made five talents more. And his master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over more. Enter the joy of your master. And he also who had two talents came forward saying, Master, you delivered to me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. His master said to him, I'm good and faithful servant. 
You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. He also who had received the one talent came forward saying, Master, I know you to be a hard man, reaping work you did not sow and gathering where you did not winter. Winter, for I was afraid and I went and hid the talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his, ma his master answered him, You wicked and so slothful servant, you know that I reap where I have not sowed, and I gather where I have not winter. Then you ought to have invested my money with bankers, and at my coming I should have received what, <clears throat> what was my own with interest. So take the, so take the talent from him, Give it to him who has the ten talents. For to everyone, for any, for, for everyone who has, will more be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness, where men will weep and gnash their teeth. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, all his angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate them one from another, as the shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep at his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, O blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see thee hunger and hungry, and feed thee, or thirsty, and give thee drink? And when did we see a thee a stranger and welcome thee, or naked and clothe thee? And when did we see thee sick or in prison and visit thee? And the king will answer them, <clears throat> Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these brethren, you did it also to me. Then he will come to those at his left hand, depart from me, you cursed unto the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they will answer, Lord, when did we see thee hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison? not minister to thee. Then he will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it not to one of the least of these, you did it not to me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. When Jesus had finished all these things, he said to his disciples, You know that after two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified.
Okay. 
Instead, grant me your servant, the spirit of purity, humility, patience, and love. Indeed, O Lord the King, grant that I may see my own sins, and not judge my brother. You are blessed in the ages of the ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Oh, For these precious three sanctified gifts, let us pray to the Lord. Oh, that our God, the lover of mankind, has accepted them on his holy, heavenly, spiritual offerings, a spiritual fragrant offering, will send down on us divine grace gift of the Holy Spirit, and let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Now you be delivered from all danger, affliction, and enemy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. That the holy be perfect, holy, peaceful, without 
question. Let us pray to the Lord. An angel of peace, the faithful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord.
who dwell on high and watch over the home. Look with a compassionate eye on all your people and preserve them. Count us worthy of all, count us all worthy without condemnation. Partake of these your life-giving mysteries. And we bow your heads to you. From you we await your rich mercy. Through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind, the only begotten Son with whom we are blessed, together through all the good life being spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, our God, attend from your holy dwelling place, and from the throne of the glory of your kingdom come to sanctify us. You who above us sit together with the Father and are here and visibly present together with us. And by your mighty hand, condescend to impart to us your most pure body and precious blood, and through us to all the people. Cleanse us. Let us be attentive. The pre-sanctified holy things are for the holy. Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, or I will not speak with my mystery. 
street to thy enemies. If I like Judas, will I give thee a kiss? For the like of the thief, will I confess thee? Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and body.
people and bless your inheritance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord,
heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasons, and enable me even to my last breath to receive the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may glorify you all the days of my life, for you are blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins, and ask for pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the age of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily.